A spawn style siege machine in Clash of Clans. It is coming for the Town Hall 13 winter update. This will continually spawn troops onto the map before revealing your clan castle troops. It is going to change strategy forever. And in this video, we tell you everything you need to know as well as gameplay of the brand new siege barracks. <laughs> What is going on guys, Judo Sloth here and welcome back to today's sneak peek video for the Clash of Clans Winter Update. I am hyped, you're hyped, yesterday we had the big reveal. Town Hall 13 is the massive winter update for Clash of Clans. You guys loved sneak peek number one, the video showcasing the Giga Inferno Tower. If you missed that video, I will be sure to link it at the end of this one. It's also down in the pinned comments. I would highly recommend checking that video out after this one. But for sneak peek number two, we have the Siege Barracks, which brings a new siege machine, which is a spawner style siege machine there are pros there are cons to this as well and I'll be sure to explain all of that but this is just sneak peek number two there are so many more to come and they keep getting better and better so the only way that you can see the sneak peek videos as soon as they come out is by subscribing and turning on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the videos now let's go ahead and upgrade the siege workshop to level four by the way guys this is the developer build which means any statistics you see upgrade costs training times damage anything like that everything is still subject to change before the update comes out we get access to the developer build to showcase you the sneak peeks but things can still change so the siege barracks let's go ahead and upgrade to level four We've cooked up the siege barracks, but before I show you gameplay, I want to explain it very briefly because it is a little bit more complex than the other siege machines, I feel. With the other siege machines, they are a transport system for your clan castle troops. They get them from A to B before dropping them off. Siege barracks is anything but. You drop it at the side of the map and it's similar to a spawner building in Clash Royale. Firstly, a pecker is deployed, followed by a number of wizards, and the amount of wizards depends on the level of siege barracks you have. Currently at level 1 you get 6, with a lifetime of 30 seconds. Again, numbers can change. Anyways, you've got to wait 30 seconds before your clan castle troops are deployed, but this can be a fantastic method to funneling a certain area of the base. You've just got to know that the rest of your attack needs to be going on, otherwise you might time fail. So I think against select bases, it can be really good, especially if there's not a multi-inferno within that area, so your wizards don't essentially get shredded straight away. Let's show you gameplay and you'll know exactly what I mean. Okay, so we've put together a little mini base in order to show you the siege barracks and I thought I would get the question how many wizards do we get at maxed level? Here is the stats for you, again subject to change, but currently the maxed level is 4 and you get 2 extra wizards per level. Meaning that at level 4 you get 12 wizards behind the P.E.K.K.A. Now just think about this, 12 wizards, 4 troop capacity, that is 48 troop capacity plus the 25 from the P.E.K.K.A. is 73 free troops before your clan castle is even deployed that is incredible but they're not all deployed at once and you can't control them so let's showcase you when we put the siege barracks in it is flown down parachuted into the corner of the base and out comes the pecker initially in order to tank now again, you're going to have to choose your bases wisely. If a multi-inferno is covering an area of the base, it can just shred all of the wizards, but you're still getting that free funnel with the P.E.K.K.A. But just know you can't sit here and watch the building slowly tick down because it just doesn't work. One thing I like to do is use the P.E.K.K.A. and wizards in order to create a little bit of a funnel initially. Then I have balloons and a haste spell to come out and blast the rest of the defenses in the area that wasn't a good example that was a terrible example against the new giga inferno again you can see more gameplay of that new defense at the end of this video but let's show you an example against a real base 
This is the type of base I want to look for when I'm using the Siege Barracks Siege Machine. Basically, out of the way of multi infernos. If I can create a path, create a bit of a funnel, then that is going to be helpful. If you have any ideas for how to use this new siege machine, be sure to let us know down in the comments. I might even be able to try it out on the dev build. So over here to the left hand side, look, no multi inferno we can probably create the funnel quite well and by the way guys i do share sneak peeks over on instagram as well once the videos are live on youtube i'll share relevant pictures over there so be sure to follow me all of my social media posts are down below now let's say we want to funnel the left hand side of the map what you cannot do is let's use this barbarian as an example you can't just plonk it in the side of the map here reason being the wizards will slowly spawn over time so if the pecker starts funneling all of these buildings down the bottom then the wizards will spread out and you don't then have the tankage so why don't we put it down the bottom slightly to the side here out comes the pecker which will get to work and then the wizards come behind but they don't all come at once so whilst you get the 12 wizards they will slowly be spawning every so often and you've got to be careful because as you can see the buildings have started to go down and if you lose tankage then it might be a case that the wizards become vulnerable you might actually want to pop in a giant or two perhaps to tank the defenses so the wizard can then get its value now this is what i like to do i like to have a group of balloons inside with a haste spell so as the balloons come forward look where are they going to go probably down this way let's use that haste to power the balloons over them defenses and look at the corner of this base 13 percent if the haste had been used a little bit better potentially even got more than that but we carved a beautiful funnel should have probably had other troops as well let's go ahead guys let's go ahead and do a galadon now you're wondering what i'm going to say let's go ahead and do a full attack I think against the same base, let's use the barracks over to that left hand side. It did work well, but we can't sit for 30 seconds. So whilst the funnel's created on the left, why don't we then create the funnel on the right here? King is going to do a good job. Let's start with the queen. Let's actually get a couple of loons onto there. Can we break that wall? Two others, come on. Let's get that wall broken for the queen. Oh, they didn't get the compartment I wanted. I wanted the queen to go like into oh, never mind never mind king's doing a good job there let's press that ability so that he gets in range of the single uh now the wall breakers go for that why would they go for that wall that's better that's better now let's use the rage for the wall breakers to get through uh haste over to the balloons on that side wall breakers getting all of the way through to the eagle look at that guys that is fantastic where are they going to go now right that's not too bad let's freeze there let's rage here for the wall breakers get yourself in boom they're in wow that is amazing okay let's freeze this come on queen come on move yourself to the left of the base so we know where you're going oh my word this is awful this is awful let's start that lala we've got to be quick here because the queen is going to take a lot of damage got to be ready with that ability as well in goes the poison for them pups. We kind of want the queen to go through. Don't want to use... Come on, queen. Let's... Ah, no, 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 no. Queen, take... Take the base. Let's use that queen's ability. Let's use the Grand Warden's ability. Let's earthquake. Come on. They get through the Giga Tesla. Let's use the haste to the top. We need a couple of other loons at the top as well for the Teslas. Is the queen down? Enemy queen, where is she? She is down. I don't think we're going to have enough to get through this base, guys. Definitely spells could have used more wisely for the balloons the queen stayed alive amazingly we got 56 seconds here 56 seconds let's get some more minions in at the top come on queen take yourself down all of the healers are on the warden no <laughs> Oh my word, such an exciting attack that one. Could have easily been a three star as well. But you noticed the difference for this attack. Creating that funnel really helped. Queen charge was epic. Lalo could have been better, granted. But, ah, oh, super, super close though. If the healers were on the queen, I think that might have even been a three. Let me know in the comments. Healers on the queen, would it have been a three star? Look at how many minions we've got. 90%. 
Yeah, I think it might have been a three star. I really do. I think the queen would have just got through there. It would have been so much better. But that is your video for the Siege Barracks. I hope you did enjoy it and had a little bit of fun at the same time. But if you do want to see the Giga Inferno in action, yesterday's sneak peek, I've linked it on your screen. Go ahead and watch that one, guys. You will enjoy it. But that wraps it up for this one. Until next time, peace out.